Today we're going to be experimenting with factors affecting a reaction rate. We know there are various factors that can affect the rate of a reaction. In part one, we will study the effect of concentration on reaction rate. What we have is strips of magnesium metal and hydrochloric acid. In part one, we take varying concentrations of hydrochloric acid. We have 0.5 molar, 1 molar, 3 molar, and 6 molar hydrochloric acid. We will be reacting those acids with 1 centimeter strips of magnesium metal. Each piece of magnesium metal has a mass of 0 0.12 grams. We'll just start off by placing them into the respective test tubes and watching the reaction rate. We will view the results after. You'll notice immediately there is an exothermic reaction producing a gas. As a review, you'll remember that when a metal, magnesium, reacts with hydrochloric acid, hydrogen, ha hydrogen gas is produced. We'll just place that aside and come back to it in a moment. In part two, we're going to study the effect of surface area on the rate of reaction. We've prepared three solutions of hydrochloric acid each being one molar. What we've done is we've taken one piece of magnesium and left it as is, one centimeter strip. One strip we've rolled up into a small ball. And thirdly, we've taken the last strip and cut it up into slivers. We will react these with the hydrochloric acid to see the effect of reaction rate and surface area. The first strip we added was the plain one centimeter flat strip. Secondly, the rolled strip. And thirdly, the slivers. It's important that all the slivers are in the hydrochloric acid. You'll notice that in part two, the reaction where the magnesium strip was rolled is still taking place while the other two reactions are complete. We'll just let that finish and we'll continue on with part three. In part three, we're going to discuss the varying effects on a reaction rate of temperature. The question to be asked is how does temperature affect the reaction rate. We've prepared four baths with varying temperatures. The first bath being at zero degrees Celsius. The second bath, room temperature, 23 degrees Celsius. The third bath, 50 degrees Celsius. And the fourth bath at 90 degrees Celsius. We will add a one centimeter strip of magnesium to each of the test tubes. You'll remember that the concentrations for these test tubes are one molar hydrochloric acid. Each piece of magnesium is one centimeter in length and has a mass of 0 0.12 grams. Be sure to complete all of the tables and remember your units. 